In this problem, we need to perform the indicated row operations on the matrix on the right, and we need to begin with this matrix in each case. Here is a matrix, it's an augmented matrix, and here are the instructions for part A. Well, what does this mean? If you see a capital R with a subscript of 2, it's indicating row 2. Over here, a capital R with a subscript of 3 indicates row 3. And this symbol means interchange or swap. So we're going to interchange row 2 with row 3 or swap row 2 and row 3. So the only two rows that are going to change are 2 and 3. So row 1 is going to stay the same at 1, negative 3, negative 7, and negative 11. Row 2 is going to be my old row 3. So it's going to be 2, negative 4, negative 11, and negative 20. And row 3 was my old row 2, so it's 0, 5, 10, and 15. So that is the answer to part A. Looking at part B, it says take 1 fifth, multiply it by row 2, and put it in row 2. Remember, we need to begin with this matrix in each case. So row 1 and row 3 are going to stay the same. This is going to be my row 1, 1, negative 3, negative 7, and negative 11. Row 3 is going to be 2, negative 4, negative 11, and negative 20. And now for row 2, I have to multiply it by 1 fifth. If you don't like multiplying by one fifth, remember it's the same as dividing by five. So zero divided by five is zero. Five divided by five is one. 10 divided by five is two. And 15 divided by five is three. So this is the answer to part B. Now looking at part C, we have to do negative 2 times row 1, add it to row 3, and put it in row 3. So rows 1 and 2 are going to stay the same. I'm starting with this matrix. So it's 1, negative 3, negative 7, and negative 11. Row 2 is 0, 5, 10, and 15. And now to get row 3, we need to get a little bit of scratch work. So we're going to figure out negative 2, row 1, and add row 3 to it. So negative 2 times row 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14. And negative 2 times negative 11 is positive 22. We're going to write row 3 below it. So I'm going to get 2, negative 4, negative 11, and negative 20. And now add them up. Negative 2 and 2 are 0. 6 added to negative 4 is 2. 14 added to a negative 11 is 3. 22 added to negative 20 is 2. So my row 3 is 0, 2, 3, and 2. So this is the answer to part C. And one thing before I go, I want to point out that these are the three different types of row operations that we can do to your augmented matrix. You can swap rows, you can multiply a row by a number, and you can add rows together or multiples of a row to another row. 